Hello, new first year students in the C-152 Recreation Management and Gerontology Program. My name is Suzette Martinuzzi. I'm the pre-placement coordinator. This tutorial video will help you and teach you the step-by-step -step instructions in how to double check over your specific program health form documents before you submit and upload it to the Paramed portal. In order to receive a Paramed clearance stamp and be eligible for your upcoming clinical placement. This is an example of uh, health form documents from our previous year. This is an example of our previous students health form documents for your program. First, please make sure that you fill out and complete all the top portion of the forms with your personal information on page three page four with your name and ID, and page five, the George Brown College and Paramed Agreement form. You fill out your name, your sign and date, the last pages of the form. COVID-19 vaccine, please make sure that your doctor document the dates and attach proof of QR code or any type of vaccination record. For example, in Canada, we have this type of proof of vaccination. Uh, whatever country you're in, make sure that you also provide us the proof of record. If the section is blank or missing, please follow up with your doctor's office to correct the information on the health form before you submit and upload it to the Paramet portal. Otherwise, you will not receive a clearance stamp. Seasonal flu shot is strongly recommended for your program. Uh, if you haven't received a flu shot, Please leave this section blank as it will not be available until November, December per academic year. And you can get this flu shot record later on and submit it to Paramed with no charge. Two consecutive step TB skin tests. If you are submitting a brand new two step TB skin test, and the result was both negative or less than 10 millimeters, then your form should look like this. Please note that you cannot leave this section blank whether you are negative or positive to TB skin test. And have the doctor sign, date, and stamp the form. If you have proof of previous two consecutive steps in the past and the result was both negative, if you have proof of previous two consecutive step TB skin test, if you had proof of previous two consecutive step TB skin test done in the past and the result was both negative, then you only have to ask your doctor to renew a step one TB skin test and your form should look like this. If your TB skin test result was positive or more than 10 millimeters, then your form should look like this. Make sure that your doctor do an annual physical assessment of your lungs and they need to answer letters A to F on the form and your chest x-ray report must be valid every two years. For more information about the two-step TB skin test, please check our YouTube tutorial video 
for more detailed instruction. Please make sure that your doctor sign, date, and stamp the form. Unfortunately, if your form was not signed by your doctor or it's missing a date or they forgot to stamp your form, the paramed nurses will not clear your documents. Vulnerable sector check. If you live in Toronto, your vulnerable sector check will look like this. Vulnerable sector check must be valid every year. And you must submit a copy of the certificate as well to the paramed portal. So if you live in Toronto, it would look like this and write down the issued and expiry date on the form. If you live in York Region, for example, York Region looks like this. Each regional police services have different types of vulnerable sector check record. For Peel, for Peel Regional Police Service, the vulnerable sector check looks like this. Please make sure that you write down the issue and expiry date on the form. The final step. So once you have everything completed, your final step is to submit and upload it to the paramed portal. For more information, how to submit, upload, and pay to the Paramed Placement Pass website, please check our YouTube tutorial video. And how to access, navigate your Paramed Portal account, or check the student user guide that we sent you.